I've never gotten a like a, a beauty tip from another dude, which is weird. Put some stuff on your face. Hey, GQ, my name is Winston Duke, and these are my essentials. First up, my MCM duffel. It's like this weekender bag. It's like huge. It's like Winston size. And then it just also just feels like hella swaggy. Someone actually broke into my car like a couple weeks ago and like stole another backpack from me. So I kind of like that this bag doesn't draw as, as much attention because it doesn't scream, hey, this is the iconic look of this like bag and brand and these types of bags. So yeah, I like this one a lot. Subtle and great. This one is definitely top. This is like the Lucid Body Book by Faye Simpson, a guide to physical acting. And essentially it just breaks down a lot of personalities and archetypes for characters into things that you can just kind of do quick and dirty like for your, for your acting work. It works for me really well. So if you're an aspiring actor, essential. Turmeric juice. I'm always just drinking this stuff. And I hope it works because, you know, turmeric has all these properties that are anti-inflammatory, really good for your skin, um, really good for your digestion, really good for energy, all these really great things. So I kind of live on this stuff. So this one is like the juice, but I also sometimes do like just the turmeric shot, which is just concentrated turmeric juice. And I'm like, woo, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> I go through bottles of this stuff because I use it every single night and I just like <laughs> in my hand on my face. It gets your moisture and all that stuff back so you keep that glow up. And anything that makes me look better, I'm, I'm down. I'm, I'm gonna try it a little bit. So that's the thing, I never actually hear a lot of guys. I've never gotten a, like a, a beauty tip from another dude, which is weird. Men get too caught up in rigid boxes on what defines masculinity. You're a person, you should take care of yourself, you should feel good, and these things help you feel good, you know? So take care of yourself. So I wish more men did it, and I'm doing it, so. Put some stuff on your face. This is a big one for me. This one's a humidifier, but it's small enough to pack and travel with. It's also an aroma diffuser. So you put the water in, boom. Take like an essential oil, uh, lavender, something like that, you put it in there. I just put it on overnight. So while I'm sleeping, it keeps the moisture in the air, um, especially as a performer. Your instruments are your, are your bread and butter. So this one's a big one. I haven't gone clean shaven in this past year and a half. Even and as a result, things like this have become a staple in you know my repertoire. Getting something to just make that softer helps a lot. And I don't always wear a beard, like I said. I don't always wear a beard. I've just kind of been like in Marvel land and a lot of other characters. I use these uh, a good amount and they feel good. They feel good. People have been asking online, you know, on my Instagram, when I do go through some of those comments, they're like, oh, cool, what's your facial regimen? Or what do you use? What do you do? It's a Clarisonic scrubber, and it uses sound waves to break up the top layer of, of skin and exfoliate your face. But it does it really gently, so you don't have to rub on the skin and, and bruise it or anything. It's just like really great. And then it helps produce collagen once all that first layer is gone. So that's really good. So I'm wearing shea butter right now and it just absorbs in and it doesn't leave any kind of a, like a layer on top of the skin. So moisture actually gets in and new moisture from the air can also get inside. 100% shea butter, it's natural, and natural is good. This right here is my speaker. I just, uh, I carry this thing and it's kind of getting worn because I use it so much and a little dirty, but I love it. And it kind of has that like little vibe to it. See the two of these things on a table. 
already. Nothing else there. Looks cool. I like it. So these are my glasses. Not a lot of people know that I wear glasses, but I wear glasses and my eyesight isn't the greatest thing in the world. Um, Oliver People, really cool uh, brand that I like. So it's always like elevated, clean looks. Um, I love gold. I love gold. Gold. But I'm also really rough on my glasses. I sit on them. I'll fall asleep in my glasses. Maybe plastic glasses. <laughs> Another big essential for me is my moleskin. I just like write a bunch of stuff in here, like my notes, you know, um, journal, doodle. I gotta have it every single day. I gotta carry it everywhere I go. I'm not always the most organized. So I generally have like all these notes in here on random pages, like call back so-and-so or do this, da 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 da, you know, so yeah. Big essential. You know when you have clothes that just have a really special place in your heart? This hoodie is one of those things. I love bright colors. I'm from the Caribbean and I just found it one day. I was just like strolling down the street and I walked into a store and it was on sale and I picked it up. I probably get more use out of this than anything else. Any like super, super expensive thing. You know, you could tell that I love it. You could tell that I wear it all the time because it's getting these random worn holes. Like right there, I think there's another one here. It's another worn hole here. Like it's just getting all these character bruises, you know what I mean? Like it's a bruiser. I love it. <laughs>